All right. Hi, and welcome back. This is going to be the tabletop demo of the V3 power meter with left and right measurements. So what I've got here is the actual power meter itself. This is my Garmin Edge 500, which you'll see it receiving on. And I'm just going to move this off here and over. This here is my laptop. So you can see wire snaking down. I'm going to connect that now. I put the camera back on the tripod and fire it up. So ah, there we are. And I'm going to fire up the Garmin Edge. And on the desktop, I'm going to capture the receiving signal from this as well as uh, showing it on the Garmin. I think it just popped up. So it should have detected the power meter. I'm going to turn on the backlight to make it a little bit easier to see. So I'm using a magnetic pickup. Oh, excuse me. I'm using a magnetic pickup. So as I go across, you're starting to see an approximate cadence. And every time I'm doing this, what you should be seeing is a new pickup that's sending some debug data. But you can also see that the N plus display simulator is incrementing as well and giving the same amount of data. So one of the things we can do is, by, since we're simulating the rotation with, with the small magnet, is apply a small torque to the upper crank arm, which is a little bit out of frame, or the lower crank arm while I do that. So I'm going to just apply a small torque here. And now you can see that we're getting power and we're getting a balance of 100% left. So I can drive up that power by the torque is still the same but the RPM goes up really high but when it's much slower even though the torque is still about the same it is lower. So uh, I'm going to end up kind of tilting this a little bit so that I can apply a torque on the right arm and Sorry about that. So you can see also that it's making measurements there on the right arm. Unfortunately, I don't have enough arm just to show you both at the same time, but I will on the bike once you can see the output from um, when I'm actually pedaling. All right, so this is the V3 power meter. This currently is a magnet. So as you can see, it's sending some cadence data as I go back and forth and showing 50% power. So there's zero power going to either of these. But if I apply a torque to one side and now simulate cadence, and if I ramp up that cadence, the torque goes up, as we saw that it's proportional. Or if I take a really long time, my power output gets much, much lower, so 3 watts. Um, I'm going to simulate uh, just pedaling on the right arm by tilting it a little to catching the edge, and uh, I'm applying a moment about my uh, right crank arm, the drive side one, and now you can see that the balance is 100% or approximately 99% right. And again, if I speed it up, it goes up. If I slow it down, 
goes down. All right, so that should do as a good tabletop explanation. Let's uh, do some calibrations to make sure that this is correct, and then we'll put on the bike. All right, welcome back. So I mentioned uh, after. So I mentioned that I want to check the calibration. It's very critical. One of the things about these devices is that they tend to be very linear, but your zero point can theoretically shift a little bit. It shouldn't very much, but a small offset in either the positive or negative direction can have a, have a, a minor offset in your workhouse. A lot of people who are familiar with power meters already know this. So the easiest thing you can do is a hanging weight test. And what you do is you take a weight, you hang it from here, and you measure how much strain you're getting through your acquisition system. Right now I've got mine in more of a debug mode. The debug mode is just spitting out the raw strain values. I averaged over 20,000 samples per side, so it does one side and then it does the next side. What we're going to do is we're going to leave it running for a little bit. It's been running for a little while now to get a good baseline, get the strain gauges to um, up to temperature, which is something that I, I haven't mentioned, is strain gauges have a self-heating element. So they're always dissipating power. Large thermal mass, like a big aluminum block and tube, tend not to change it, but there is a, a small shift after, after startup. So this is one of the things that actual manufacturers haven't really talked about. That's why zeroing on the run uh, by backpedaling, for instance, it is a, a very positive thing. So I'm just going to go and take this. And uh, we've got two, two five pound weights. Uh, these ones were measured at work on a calibrated scale, but I'm just going to approximate it. This is just a confirmation run. And I'm using a nice hook ring here that allows me just to thread it in. So because we're doing both the left and the right simultaneously, uh, I get a negative torque in one direction, but it's still linear, so it doesn't really matter. So now I'm holding that, and that is hanging there. We'll just hang that there for a second. I'm looking at the values. I've got about 36, negative 3600 on one gauge, uh, 3601, uh, plus or minus four. Uh, that's more through, due to the small vi vibrations and, and the wiggling of the weight. And on the other side, I'm holding very, very steady, 11046 down to 11041. So it's about 11043 plus or minus three. Again, it's, it's more through variations of the small swinging. And that should be quite sufficient. Uh, make sure to take off the weight. And once the weight is off, should leave it running for a little bit to again confirm our zero point. The thing about this is the more measures you get, the better. It's not like having too many measures is going to be negatively impacting that. So what I'm looking at the screen now, I'm seeing a negative 29732971 or 70 at the lowest. And on the other one, I'm getting a, a negative 9715. And that one's holding much, much more steady. Welcome back. Unfortunately, this is going to be hard to see, so I'm recording a screen capture on my computer with the Antiplus Display Simulator, and I'm also going to handheld this while I'm cycling. <clears throat> so... So, we're starting to see power. Now I'm going to pop my
my left leg out. And just cycle with my right. As you can see, Put my left leg in, put my right leg out. 